Welcome to episode 4. And as you can see here, after episode 3, we have 4 out of 140 wheats and 132 out of 150 memorial and after okay. scents. So we're trying to continue to fill these albums. And today's hunt is a little different, as you can see. It isn't a box, but it's a bag. Now, if you turn it around, you can see that these are rolls. Now, there's some writing on it. I'm guessing it's dill bard something, but one of my friends was cleaning out a uh, shelf in a classroom and came across these and was like, you know what? I know you like coin collecting, so here, you can have them to hunt. Now, I was looking at these rolls and I was like, wow, these look older. I've seen this diamond before, but just the print on them looks older. Now... You can see that there's a couple loose coins in it. Now, there was a broken roll, but I took it out, and I quickly just looked at the years on those loose cents. And the youngest coin that I saw was a 2001. So the person I got this from said they don't know how old it is. It's probably been there at least 10 years. So with that 2001 being the youngest... I'm really interested in hunting these rolls, and I'm hoping I can find some of those 2,000, 99, and 98 wide AM scents in great condition, because I'm thinking that these rolls were packaged about 2,001. So I'll have to see if that's right when I'm hunting these rolls, and I'll keep track of what the newest scent is that I find in here. Let's hope we can find some more wheat scents for our collection, since we only have 140. As you know, I look for my varieties, and we will see today what we get in these 12 rolls, $6 face, of pennies. So I went through the loose roll and didn't find anything, but like I said, the newest one that I found is a 2001. So I spread out the first actual roll, and look what I found. Right there, reverse facing. Now this has really, really nice detail, so I'm guessing it's from the 50s. And as you know, we only have two of those, so let's see if it's new to our collection. Three, two, one. A 50 Denver. That is going to be an addition to our collection right off the bat. That is absolutely amazing. So I'll get through this roll. If I have something else, I'll bring you back, but if not... I'll see you at the next find. So there was nothing else in that roll, but if you look right here, we have our first Canadian of the hunt, and it is a 1992. So I'll also stick that to the side over there, and I'll get back to you if we find anything else in this roll. So I've got the next roll laid out, and here we have another Canadian. 1987 that's amazing i'll stick that to the side for our finds and still the newest coin is only a 2001 so these are holding up to being old rolls we still have eight left after this one i'll get back to you with my next find so i'm in the next roll and all we've got here is another canadian a 91. So like I said, we'll throw that over there. Seven rolls left after this one. And I'll come back with my next find. So, another roll. Another Canadian. This one's an 87. We'll throw it up there. That makes four Canadians for the hunt. And one wheat penny. With six rolls left. Seven if you count the one right here. So I'll bring you back when I find another amazing penny. Another roll, another Canadian. So I think it's weird that there's one every roll, it seems. But this one's a 74. That means that we have five left to hunt. A six here. And we have five Canadians and one wheat penny for this hunt. I was really hoping we get more since they're older. But we're still only getting up to 2001. Because, like I said, these rolls were thought to be put together 
over a decade ago, and it seems like they were put together over two decades ago. So this is actually super crazy that I was able to get my hands on these with no expense to me because she gave it to me as a birthday gift, basically. And it's just amazing because I didn't have to pay anything extra because they're older and it was a gift. So that makes it just so much more. And I really thank her so, so much. So I'll get back to you with our next find. So fourth roll from the end. And do you see this? It's right here. Sorry, I didn't have it in frame. I lost it. But this is our second Wheat Son of the Hunt. So let's see what it is. In three, two, one. A 19... No! Look at the detail on that. A 19th... We, we know we don't have any of those. That is crazy okay so i don't see anything else in this roll but this right here caught my attention so i don't know what it is but it's a penny sandwich and i'm gonna try to pull it apart and see what it is if it's something good i'll let you know if not i'll just bring you back on the next find or in a wrap up Third to last roll, and the very next one from the last find. Third coin in. And we have a 1951 Canadian Younghead. Wait a minute. Oh my god. I'm so dumb sometimes. 53 is when the Younghead started. So this is a King George VI. I just found one of these in the last video that I posted. I definitely did not expect to find a King George the Sixth in this box. <laughs> that is absolutely crazy for just 12 rolls for today's hunt. And I've already found a King George the Sixth and a 1930s penny and a 1950D wheat penny and five other Canadians. Not to mention the newest coin still a 2001. And we've got a whole bunch of coins to look at for those white ams from 96, 98, 99, and 2000. So I'm going to go through the rest of this roll, and I'll get back to you when we have another find, or with the videos wrap up. Very next roll, and here we have it. Another Canadian, 88. Down here we have another Canadian, sorry, two coins away, an 87. And then what really caught my eye is right here, this obverse 56 Philadelphia. And look at those wheat ears. That is amazing. Third wheat set out of 12 rolls. And now we have seven Canadians, eight counting the King George VI, making a total of 11 fines that I'm 100% keeping. From this hunt so I'll finish this roll bring you back with anything good wait a minute no way I just saw the edge of the head when I looked down this is another King George the sixth like I said in the last video I haven't found any of these in like 150 200 rolls and I just found one last hunt and here we have a 51 and this one looks older it's a 41. I think that's the second year, the third year that they made them. Because they made them in 39, 40, and 41. Because they stopped making the King George the Fifths in 38. This is absolutely amazing. Look at that. I'm so upset that it has some corrosion. But what can you expect from a 41 King George the Sixth Canadian penny? This is turning out to be an amazing 12 roll hunt. And I'll get back to you with the next find if I don't see one right now scanning it. Or with a wrap up of the box. So that last roll didn't have anything for us. But I wanted to show you I have five coins that I can't tell the date, but I flipped them over. You could tell that they're not wheat cents. We have some 60s, 70s, 
80s, 90s, and 2000s, with the newest being that 2001, which is absolutely amazing to know that these rolls are 23 years old. I found one 2000 Denver out of all of those coins right there. So that is absolutely amazing. Then I have some coins in almost every one of my cups except for the 63D and the 59 Philadelphia, which we didn't find any 59s to look through there. But back there, we have some 92s. We can look for DDRs in the close AM. We have some 96s, 98s, 99s, and 2000s. Quite a few, actually, to look for that wide AM. And then a 95 Philadelphia and Denver to look for DDOs and DDRs on. So, once again, we found these three wheats. We found seven Canadians regular, and then nine with the addition of these two King George the Sixes. So, the thing is, I'm not going to do a wrap up tonight. It will still be in this video. It's just, it's getting late, so what I'm going to have to do is once I'm done looking at all of these coins for varieties, it's not going to be bright enough to give you a good uh, ending, and I really don't want to do that for a wrap-up. So I'm going to look through these coins tonight for varieties and stuff, set them out, and I'll give you a wrap-up in about two seconds for you, but a whole day for me. So I did end up finding an error. So as you can see here, we have a 2000 cent with the normal close AM. But then we have another 2000 cent. And if you look right there, it's the wide AM. Now that's about a $5 coin. I'm not going to end up selling it though because it is the first one I've ever found. So after that, we have also found a 1993 machine doubling set. I don't know if you could see it on the camera well. But depending on the light in person, it looks very doubled. So you can't really see it in the holder with the angle of the light. But just know that I did find that. That's not going to go into our al album, but that is. So... We got three upgrades, sorry, three additions today, and they're all wheat cents, the 56, 50D, and 30. It's always nice getting a 30s wheat cent. And then we had 20 additions to the album. So that means that after episode four, we have seven out of 140 wheats and 132 out of 150 memorial and after cents. So right there is our 50 Denver. We've got our 56, and then we've got our 30. So give me a second, and I'll be back to show you the album and the progress that we've made in it. So we're still missing that 60 small date and 60D small date, but the rest of the first page is completed. So when we flip to the second, we're missing the S mint marks still. But at least the bottom is completed. We have completed everything except for that 82 Denver large zinc that is still giving us trouble. Now we've completed this whole page and we have some nice ones like that 84, that 83, and that 85, which are absolutely gorgeous. Next page we have completed it. And we got a nice 2001 cent from today's rolls because, like I said, the newest one was the 2001, so we were bound to get a good one. Everything else is pretty amazing as well. They're just, the 98 Denver could use an upgrade, the 96 Denver could use an upgrade, but everything else... That 94, I forgot about that too. But the rest of them, they are absolutely gorgeous. We're still missing that 2004 Denver. We don't have, I mean, we need an upgrade for the 2003 Denver. And we don't have most of the 2009s. Now, we didn't even get a chance at upgrading or adding 10 of these today. Because those rolls had the newest scent of 2001. This page is completely filled out with 
brilliant, bright scents. And then this one, we're still missing the Denver's and the 2024's, which are being released now. And on this last page, right next to our 2023 VDBV, we have that 2000 wide AM. Now, there is a little damage on the back of it, but it's a really nice scent nonetheless. That is it for the album today. That is it for episode four. And like I said, we have seven out of 140 wheats and 132 out of 150 memorial and after scents. So that was an absolutely amazing hunt. I thank you and have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this.